Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to Wonder Kids Academy. We hope you will learn something very interesting from this video. Look at all those puddles. Splash, splash, splash. Do you love jumping in puddles when it rains? I do. But have you ever wondered, where do puddles go when the sun comes out? Let's find out together. A puddle is like a tiny mirror, isn't it? But even mirrors can disappear. First, let's learn what a puddle is. When rain falls, water lands on the ground. If the ground is smooth and the rain keeps coming, that water collects into a puddle. Easy peasy, right? Now, the sun comes out. What happens to our puddle then? The sun's warm rays start to tickle the water. This makes some of the water turn into an invisible gas called water vapor. Scientists call this evaporation, big word, but not so scary. See those little swirls? That's the water going up to the sky. As more and more water evaporates, the puddle gets smaller and smaller until, poof, the puddle is gone. But don't worry, that water didn't disappear forever. It's up in the sky now as part of a cloud. Later, it might fall back down as rain again. That's called the water cycle. But wait, there's another trick. Not all puddles disappear only by evaporation. Sometimes the ground is hungry for water. Soft grass and soil soak up the puddle like a sponge. This is called absorption. The water then travels through tiny spaces between soil bits and goes down deep to become part of underground water. That water can come back up later when you turn on the garden hose or drink from a well. Puddles on sidewalks and roads have a third adventure. They can roll along. When a puddle is on a slanted road, gravity helps it flow into drains and gutters. Then it travels through pipes under the street, all the way to rivers or lakes. Some of that water even goes to water treatment plants and comes back to us as clean tap water. Water flowing into a storm drain, then into a river, then back to houses. Let's do a quick puddle check. Number one, evaporation. Puddles shrink in the sun and water goes up into clouds. Number two, absorption. Thirsty ground soaks water up like a sponge. Number three, runoff. Puddles roll downhill into drains, rivers, and lakes. Now you know where puddles go. They don't just vanish. They go on secret adventures in the sky, underground, and along the streets. Next time you jump in a puddle, wave goodbye and imagine your puddle friend flying up to the clouds, diving into the earth, or sliding down to the river. Isn't nature amazing? Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you and your kids have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our channel for fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids. And see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos like this. You can also visit our website at www.wonderkidsacademy.info to learn more of what we present.